All right, so we're going to divide polynomials using long division as opposed to synthetic division. So let's say we're given the problem 10m cubed plus 4m squared plus 2m plus 8 divided by m plus 1. Uh, now, just to make sure that we know uh, what our terms are called, uh, let's set this up like we would a long division problem from way back when, when we had to do division by hand. You put your divisor outside of the house. Okay, that's your divisor. The polynomial that goes inside the house is your dividend. Okay, I'm just going over those words because I'm going to use them. They are in your steps here, so you need to know what they are. And then your answer, if you will recall, is called the quotient. And what we put on top for the answer is the quotient. Divisor, dividend, quotient. Okay. So our steps say divide the first term of the dividend, so in this case 10m cubed, by the first term of the divisor. Here, that's m. So when we divide those, we talked about this the other day, uh, our exponent rules say that we subtract those exponents, so that gives us 10m squared. So that is the first thing that's going to go on top of the house. Okay, 10m cubed plus 4m squared plus 2m plus 8. Okay, 10m squared is the first thing that's going to go on top of the house. And something that is helpful is to line it up. Line it up with the m squared that is under the house. Okay. Then we're going to multiply that by our divisor and the result's going to go underneath. So 10m squared times m is 10m cubed. If you divided properly, then that's going to be the exact same term. And then we also multiply it by the 1. So anything times 1 is just that term. So we multiply the result from step 1 by the divisor, and then we subtract. Or you can change your signs and add. However you want to look at it, it's the same difference. Uh, I kind of favor the changing the signs and adding. Uh, but 10 plus negative 10 is 0, so that goes away. 4 plus negative 10 is negative 6m squared. And then step three says bring down the remaining terms. So the 2m and the 8 come down to join the negative 6m squared. Okay. We're good so far. Okay. Step four says divide the first term of the remaining polynomial, that's what I've got there in red, by the first term of the divisor. So now we're done with that original polynomial. Okay, we're done with that original polynomial. Now we take negative 6m squared and we divide it by m. So we get negative 6m. It's just like regular division, guys. Okay, you remember you do the same thing once you've multiplied and subtracted then you divide what you've got left by your divisor. Okay? All right, so I'm going to copy this down so I don't have to rewrite it all. Okay? <clears throat> get rid of my arrows here so I don't get confused. All right, uh, we got negative 6m. Okay, that goes beside the 10m squared. And we repeat the same process over and over again until there's nothing left to divide. So we're going to multiply the negative 6m by our m. So that's negative 6m squared. Remember, that should be the same. And we're going to multiply it by the 1. So that gives us negative 6m. We change our signs and we add. 
negative 6 plus 6 is 0, 2 plus 6 is 8, m, and we bring down the 8, and then we divide 8m by m, that leaves us with just 8, we multiply, 8 times m is 8m, 8 times 1 is 8, change our signs and add, and this time we get 0. So we have no remainder to this problem. No remainder on this one. So our quotient right here by itself is the answer when we divide. Now let me show you something. I've been mentioning this, okay, that if there's no remainder, that means that that term is a factor. So that means that we can rewrite that polynomial as m plus 1 times 10m squared minus 6m plus 8. So if we use that multiplication we learned about the other day, multiplying a binomial by a trinomial, we would get that original polynomial there. Okay? So that is one way that we can factor this polynomial, okay? But the answer to the question is what I've got boxed up here, okay? When they ask you to divide, this is the answer. I'm just showing you what it means when there's no remainder. Okay, let's do a couple more because I, I get they're, um, these are a little bit more involved. Okay, so flip your paper over. Let's look at the next example. 8m cubed minus 14m squared plus 1. Okay, uh, problem, same problem that we had earlier with synthetic division. We are missing our linear term. Our m, our just plain m, is missing. So we've got to put a placeholder just like we did before. All right. So 4m plus 1 is going into 8m cubed minus 14m squared plus 0m plus 1. Okay, so here's an example of where the synthetic division, we've got to remember, okay, we've got to deal with the fraction, and then at the end we're going to have to divide everything by 4. You don't have to worry about that with long division. Okay, so we're going to take the first term, 8m cubed, and we're going to divide it by 4m. And we get 8 over 4 is 2m cubed over m is m squared. So 2m squared is the first term of our quotient. We're going to multiply it by the 4m and the 1 and put the result underneath. So 8m cubed plus 2m squared. We're going to change our signs and we're going to add. So 8 plus negative 8 is 0. Negative 14 plus negative 2 is negative 16m squared. Bring down those other two terms. Now we're going to divide the negative 16m squared by 4m, so we get negative 4m. We're going to multiply that by our divisor, so negative 4m times negative 4m is negative 16m squared, negative 4m times 1 is negative 4m. Change our signs and add. Negative 16 plus 16 is 0. 0 plus 4 is 4. Bring down the 1. Okay, almost done. We're going to divide 4m by 4m. And we get 1. 
Then we're going to multiply 1 by the 4m and the 1. And we get the exact same expression, change our signs and add. We get a remainder of 0. So our answer is 2m squared minus 4m plus 1. So I know there's a little bit more writing with these problems, with long division versus synthetic division, but there are fewer things that we have to remember to do from my perspective. Okay? Uh, we don't have to worry about setting our factor equal to zero and solving for the variable to figure out what number to go on the shelf. Uh, if it's a fraction like this problem would be, we don't have to deal with fractions. We had no fractions in these problems except for a division, but they came out even. Um, you don't have to worry about, in this case, we have to divide everything by 4 at the end. Uh, you don't have to worry about that. And then you also don't have to remember uh, what the powers of the variables are going to be in your answer. Those are built into the problem. Uh, you don't have to figure that out in the end. Okay. So, synthetic division still works when uh, long division does. Uh, the only time that it doesn't is if you're dividing by something that is not a linear factor, okay? Um, so if, say for example, and I don't have an example like this because I, I really don't think it's going to come up, but if you were asked to divide something, and I'm just making something completely up off the top of my head, if you were asked to divide that by x squared plus 2x minus 2, okay, you can't do synthetic division with that. Synthetic division only works when your divisor right here is linear, okay? And you can't have that x squared, only if it was 2x minus 2. Um, but long division would work with this. We can do long division when we're dividing by a quadratic, uh, but you cannot do synthetic division if it's not a linear factor, okay? So that's another downfall to synthetic. But honestly, I really, I really don't know that they're going to ask you to do division by something other than a linear factor. Okay, let's look at a couple more just to make sure we've got four m squared plus twenty eight m plus thirty seven divided by m plus five. Four m squared plus twenty eight m plus thirty seven. We're not missing any factors or terms, so we don't have to put any placeholders in there. We can just start with our division. Four m squared divided by m gives us four m. I really do think, and it doesn't matter how many times I say it, there's going to be somebody who doesn't do it, but it really is helpful to line it up because you know you're at the end. If you run out of space, you know you're finished. Okay? <clears throat> Multiply. 4m times m is 4m squared. 4m times 5 is 20m. Change our signs and add. 4 plus negative 4 is 0. 28 plus negative 20 is 8m. Bring down the 37. Okay, now we're dividing 8m by m. That gives us 8. Multiply. 8 times m is 8m. 8 times 5 is 40. Change our signs and add. 8 plus negative 8 is 0. 37 plus negative 40 is negative 3. So that means our answer, we finally have a remainder, 4m plus 8 minus 3 over m plus 5. Remember how to express the remainder. It's always over the divisor. Okay. Last one. Notice this one looks a little weird. 18k minus 4 plus 24k squared. It's not in standard form. So we have to make sure that we put it in standard form when it goes under the uh, division symbol. So the k squared goes first, 24k squared comes first, then plus 18k, then the minus 4. Okay. And then we can proceed as normal. 
24k squared divided.